when Einstein came to America, and there were parades in several places. He was the first intellectual pop star. People go out into the streets to greet him. He's a big celebrity. Everybody knows what Einstein looks like. Albert Einstein not only pioneered new strategies, new ways of looking at the heavens, not only did he open up new pathways by which we can oppose fascism, he also was at the forefront for the struggle for racial equality in the United States. At times like this, one realizes what a sorry species one belongs to. Einstein deeply regretted eventually writing the famous letter to FDR. He thought that it was very instrumental in setting up the Manhattan Project. Mr. Wells talks about this being cruel and reckless. He was just baiting. He has been baiting Mr. Cohen here for hours. He not only spoke out against the blacklist, but encouraged younger people to do the same. Ever since Einstein was very little, he was a revolutionary. Einstein did not want to go into the German army, and so he became a draft dodger. He was politically unconventional. I mean, his taking a stand on the First World War already was an extremely courageous thing for someone to do. He was opposed to the establishment of a Jewish state. He had advocated vociferously against it for decades. It seems I belong to that group of people whom the radical right planned to assassinate. He co-signed a letter to the New York Times in which he protested the visit of Menachem Begin to the US and called him a terrorist leader. The picture of Einstein that gets presented by so many Einstein specialists as, yes, he was absolutely brilliant, but he was this sort of childish, sad fool, is actually a way of undermining, dare I say, castrating him. Yes, I'm an old revolutionary. Politically, I'm still a fire-spewing Vesuvius. 